Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to play with a new hair styler that I found at Target when I was walking around the other day with my sister. So this looked really cool. This is the Remington Pro Twist and Curl technology. So it looks like a straightener, but the plates are twisted. You can straighten your hair, you can wave your hair, and you can curl your hair. And I was always one of those people, like I didn't find it super easy to curl my hair with a straightener. I always just use a curling iron for that. And then I feel like my hair, this is just like what my hair looks like. And so I don't need to straighten it very often. So I didn't use a straightener very often, but this one was intriguing to me. It almost seems like a little bit of a play off of that time iron, whatever that is. I always was curious about that, but I looked up a video on that yesterday and the time iron, the plates are actually flat, but it opens up at this like weird angle and it just kind of looked hard to kind of get used to like the angle that you're supposed to be using that in to get like the curls and shape and how you want your hair to look. I just feel like a lot of people and reviews that I saw, people were struggling with it and it's really expensive. I feel like that time iron was like close to $200 where I found this at Target and I believe it was under 30. I'll be sure to link it below for you if you want to check it out yourself. But I am very curious about how this works. It's a twist and curl technology for easy, long lasting results and it just sounds pretty great. It has a very unique twisted plate design, which very unique is right. I've never seen that before. And it has heat control sensor, on and off control prevents overheating, ceramic titanium smooth plates for fast even heat, goes up to 450 degrees, and it heats up in 30 seconds, five heat settings, auto shut off, and yeah, you can get all these different looks. And so back here, I have some like quick guidance back here. The unique twisted plates and round design guides and cools hair to set lasting curls, waves, and straight styles. This combined with a heat control sensor that protects color treated hair from damage leaves hair with long lasted color and results. So, okay. So if you want the smooth and straight look, you clamp a one size section of hair between the plates Gently smooth down the hair to straighten. Okay, easy enough. If you want a beach wave, which is kind of what I'm going for today, you clamp a medium sized section of hair between the plates, rotate styler 180 degrees, and slowly glide down. Gently comb through once cooled for waves. And then if you want bouncy curls, you clamp a medium sized section of hair between the plates you rotate styler 180 and you glide down even slower and continually twisting. So that's how you get the tighter curls. And then there's a little section of pro tips here. Section hair into sections before styling, okay. Lightly grip cool tip as you twist for more control. So there's a cool tip here that you can like clamp there with your fingers. And you alternate twisting 180 away from and towards face for more of an undone beachy look. And the last one is activate heat control sensors by holding dial to the right for two seconds. So I'm gonna open her up and get her plugged in. Okay, <laughs> so it looks like we got a pretty long cord here. This looks really cool. So it definitely just looks like a regular straightener, but then it looks like it's twisted, like you're trying to wring out a towel or something like that. Interesting, the power button is actually tucked in here. So I turned it on. So it started off at 300 as soon as I plugged it in and it looks like you twist this little area to bring the temperature up or down. Okay, so I feel, I feel the heat already. Down here, there's a little style cheat chart, hair setting for your hair type. And for fine and easy to style hair, 300 to 340 is good. Color treated, use the heat control sensor. Textured, 340 to 380. Thick or hard to style hair, 410 to 450. So I feel like my hair is pretty fine, so I might keep it at 340. So there's a little lock button here. So locked, it stays closed. And then if you open it up. While that finishes heating up, I am going to prep my hair. So I always section my hair into two sections. So I'll go ahead and clip up the top section right now. 
just so it's up and out of my way. And I'm loving these new clips that I just got from Amazon. Aren't they so chic? Yes, and they like really hold up a lot of hair and feels really sturdy. I'll link that in the description box if you wanted to check those out. I just clip up the top half and then the bottom half I just do roughly from side to side like this. And then every time I curl or do something with my hair, make sure you use some sort of heat protectant. R & Co Outer Space, it's a flexible hairspray. So not only will this help whatever style you're trying to do hold, but will also protect your hair from the heat as well. So just going to spray this through. Then I'm gonna brush it out with my handy dandy wet brush. Okay, so I'm so excited to try this out. Okay, so Def feels like it's hot. So just for the sake of seeing how the straightening works. So I think if you straighten, you are able to just go straight down like this because even though it's twisted, if you're holding it straight, it's not gonna curl your hair. It's just going to straighten it. So that's easy enough. From the directions, it's said to get like a one inch piece of hair and then I'm gonna put it in and I like my curls going away from my face. Make sure I'm twisting it this way. So if I'm starting it like this, I'm going to just twist it 180 and then drag it down. Okay, so it almost just like did like a wave kink there, but it didn't do anything to the rest. So maybe if I need to go a little bit slower. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to just go a little bit slower. So for a tighter curl, it's said to do 180 and then go slow. So that didn't do anything really. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Maybe that'll help. So put it in 180. Um, it's not really doing anything. Okay. That did something a little bit, but I don't know. Okay. Little bit of a learning curve for me, for sure. I'm not gonna lie, they don't look very good. I was hoping this was just going to be super easy, but okay, maybe I'm getting a little better. Okay, maybe. <laughs> now, sometimes it's just like, are these little gimmicky things just going too far? You know, if you want straight hair, use a straightener. You want curly hair, use a curling iron. What is this halfway in between thing? I don't know, I don't know. But again, just need some practice, okay piece. I want it away from my face and then turn it 180. And then Okay. Okay. The problem is me. I feel like maybe just they're not looking consistent because I'm not doing it consistently. Make sure that you're dragging at the same speed because that affects it. It's kind of like curling a ribbon, you know? Ugh. Oh my God. And I also forgot to spray this side. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, we've got something. We got something. Okay. If you're somebody who likes to curl with a with a straightener, I think this would be a really cool thing for you to try because I feel like it makes it even easier if you like doing that. But I think like I just am not very good at it. So again, I think I just want to be consistent with the speed that I'm dragging. Okay, you guys. Something is happening. Something is happening. They're looking better. I'm gonna move to the top now. I think I'm getting the hang of it a little bit. So I just take the same clip and I like to 
clip the rest of that back so it doesn't get all caught up in the top layer. Got some in my ear. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There goes nothing. So I like to do it away from my face. Clamp, 180. What's happening? Problem is me, right? Is the problem me? If you have some tips, please send them to me. All right, that's a little better. I actually did like a 360 on that one almost. <laughs> I feel like it's not like gliding through my hair with the greatest of ease. I feel like I'm struggling a bit here. I don't know you guys, it's just not as consistent as I would hope for. Is this like a case of like you can't teach an old dog new tricks situation? Like am I just too comfortable in the curling iron area that I can't do this? I feel like it was so easy. You just twist it, right? How do you, how am I messing this up? Like I feel like I'm twisting it 360, I'm dragging it through. Okay, there we go. And I was like, how am I ending up with like straight pieces when I'm clearly twisting it? I'm clearly twisting it, right? Like you guys were seeing this. Oh my gosh, see, it's like not smoothly going through my hair. <laughs> you guys. It's me. It's me, right? It's me. Okay, well, I feel like this will look okay once I brush it out, but ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm also like holding the heat on my hair longer using this, so I don't know if this is da more damaging to my hair. And I don't know, I really hope that by now I'd be a little bit better at it, but the struggle is a bit real. All right, let's do the other side. Clamp. I think I like the 360 look. Oh, it just doesn't like slide through my hair with the greatest of ease. Like what is happening? Is it me? I think it might be me. Oh, well look at that though. Let me brush it out. And I'm like not clamping it down that much, but it's not like sliding. Ugh, it's just looking crazy, you guys. <sighs> it might be a fail for me, you guys. good for my hair right like I'm going over and over this piece with this heat <sighs> maybe if I just twist it in like this like this has got to give me a curl right okay well <laughs> it's I'm more like kinking my hair I'm getting beach kinks you know beach kinks oh my gosh and i don't know how this happened but it's at 450 now so i must have accidentally been touching this oops that can't be good for my hair okay you guys let me judge this out All right, you guys, so we did end up with some beach waves, but they're a little bit 
crazy. So I ended up getting to a place where I'm happy with, but as you guys can see, that was a little bit of a struggle for me. I feel like intuitively the way that this works, like it seems easy, but I don't know. I just couldn't quite get the motions right. I couldn't get the speed of which I should be pulling it through and then it also didn't like glide through my hair that easy but again you know i know my hair is a little bit bleached and so maybe it'll glide through if you have like healthier hair but i feel like it was more like uh, 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 uh. <laughs> when i wanted it to be like oh yes wow look at all these curls if you are a person, which I do have a lot of friends who actually like curling their hair with a straightener instead of a curling iron, this could be a cool option for you. I'm okay with how it turned out. I still, I definitely think it's like fun beachy, but you know, there's like some weirdness here, like some weird beachy kinks here. <laughs> I think for me, I just feel like I would stick with a regular straightener or a curling iron. Maybe I'll give it a try one more time to see if I can get a hang of it. I might return it. Oops, I don't know. I really don't like being defeated by a hair tool or a beauty product. <laughs> I wanna master it. But you know, not all things are a win. Not all things are a win. So I will report back in another video if I end up liking it. All right, I'll be sure to link everything that I talked about today, the tool, the clips, in the description box below for you to check out. And in the comment section, if you guys have any tips and tricks on what I'm doing wrong and how I could be better at this, please let me know. Or if you have any questions, let me know that as well. And remember to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you know when I post my next video. And as always, please take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you guys next week. Bye.